into the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Mona Shores. These are your daily announcements for Wednesday, October 6, 2021. I'm Dwayne Wade. And I'm John Gibson. October is Michigan College Application Month. There will be many colleges coming to our building to meet with seniors. Many colleges are waiving their application fees for the month of October. Michigan State will waive the application fee only for the first week of October. You could find the links to the list of visits and the application waivers on the announcements page and in your email. Upcoming college visits and military visits are Navy lunches on Monday, Grand Valley Tuesday, 4th hour. Sign up in the counseling office today. October 1st was the first day that you may submit the FAFSA. It's recommended to submit as soon as possible. We had a financial aid rep come to the high school to share information pertaining to filing FAFSA. The representative went through the FAFSA application step by step. Don't worry if you missed the meeting. You can find the presentation on the announcements page and in your email. The homecoming parade will be Friday. Groups interested in participating in the parade should contact Mrs. Brower. This week is homecoming week. Dress up days are tomorrow beach versus prep, Friday Sailor Pride Day. Wear your blue and white. The homecoming dance will be held Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. Dress is dressy casual, meaning no jeans or shorts, please. Tickets are $15 each and are available online. Cash sales will be available today through Friday during both lunches. Guests are allowed. Guest forms are available in the front office. If you or somebody you know is in need of a homecoming dress, see Miss Foley in room 411. We have free dresses. The Anchor Cafe is open today after school, offering a fall special of hot apple cider and one donut combo for $3. They will be open the rest of the trimester before and after school. Come down to enjoy the fall special and other drinks and snacks. The robotics team will meet today from 3 to 4.30 in room 801. We will cover fundraising, upcoming events, and start work in subgroups. The Sailor's Cove will be open today during both lunches and from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. and tomorrow from 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. This week we are doing a canned food drive. If you bring in five non-perishable food items, you can be put in a drawing to win $250. The only catch is that you have to be present at the sunrise on the sidelines Friday morning at 5.45. Julia Alvarez, born March 27, 1950, is a Dominican-American new formless poet, novelist, and essayist. She rose to prominence with the novels How the Garcia Girls Lost Their Accents, In the Time of the Butterflies, and yo. Her publications as a poet include Homecoming and The Woman I Kept to Myself, and as an essayist, the autobiographical compilation, Something to Declare. Many literary critics regard her to be one of the most significant Latina writers, and she has achieved critical and commercial success on an international scale. In addition to her successful writing career, Alvarez is currently writer in residence at Mil Middlebury College. Today's word of the day is lull. Most often means to droop or hang loosely. It can also mean to act or move in a relaxed or lazy manner. This is Sailor Country. We do everything with pride. This Friday morning, Wood TV will broadcast from Sailor Stadium to promote the varsity football game against the Skegan. Part of the festivities will be a food draft promoted by the television station. Students will bring in non-perishable food items to their first hour through tomorrow. Every student who brings in five items will go into a raffle. All students are invited to a morning tailgate at the south end of Sailor Stadium on Friday morning. Wood TV will broadcast from 5.45 to 7 a.m. They will draw a raffle ticket from those collected throughout the week. The winning student will win a $250 Visa gift card. The raffle winner must be present at the morning tailgate to collect the prize. Food donations will be collected by Feeding America after the broadcast. The Mona Shores Fiddlers and the Orchestra Parent Association invite everyone to stop by the entrance to the Sailor Center right after the parade on Friday for the Dollars for Donuts event before the big game. Delicious donuts and sweet cider will be available while the Fiddlers entertain the crowd. Bring your dollars and support your Mona Shores Orchestra program. Last night, history was made as the Mona Shores eSports season kicked off. The League of Legends team swept a doubleheader against Harrison for the first wins in, in team and school history. The Lady Turtles fought to a big team win over Hamilton to improve to 3-3 three three overall and 2-1 and in the conference. The Lady Turtles swam to 14 personal record swim slash dives and won 9 out of 12 events. Leading the way was first place finishers, 200 medley relay, 200 free relay, Caroline Carlson, 200 free and 100 back, Robin Hunt, 100 fly and 500 free, and Katie Cree led the divers with a second place finish. 
Varsity Soccer lost 2-1 in overtime to Zeeland East. Gavin Cheatham scored the lone goal. Varsity Volleyball won in three straight sets against Wyoming leaders Grace Norris, Ava Dunn, Kyan Hellman, Annabeth Hilland, Holly Bruce, Lyndon Genskow, Allie Troutner, Lauren Moray, and Chloe Rose. The Sailors are now 4-3 and three in the conference. It's a high of 74. And a low of 54. That's all we have for you today, Sailors. Have a sporty Wednesday. Oh!